Um, I'm going to present um, um, a work, uh, a joint work with uh, Angelo Montanari and uh, Laura Bozzelli from the University of Udine and uh, uh, from the University of Naples. And the focus of the paper is on um, temporal planning, uh, but in this case we do not follow the standard approach, which is um, action-based planning, but uh, um, timeline-based planning. It means that uh, we consider timeline lines, which are essentially sequences of action with the duration of actions, and uh, um, a set of constraints over timelines. Uh, in this way, uh, we have a more declarative approach to, to planning in this sense. Um, this approach has been recently studied from the expressiveness and the complexity point of view, both in a um, in a setting, in a discrete temporal domain setting and in dense temporal domain setting. In the discrete uh, temporal domain uh, setting, we have that the problem, uh, the, the, the decision problem, name if there is a um, set of timelines which satisfy all the constraints uh, given the specification, is uh, in uh, XP space, uh, can be solved in XP space. Um, the, uh, in the case of a dense temporal domain, which is the domain where we are focusing, uh, the situation is worse since in the general case uh, the problem is undecidable. So um, one has to consider um, a suitable restriction or semantical restriction or syntactical restriction. In this case, we are, um, I presented the contribution of the paper, we have a considered a semantic restriction to, a re restriction to the uh, in the definition of punto of um, timeline based um, planning. In this case, uh, we have avoided syntactical restrictions, and uh, we have uh, um, provided uh, we have um, found uh, um, a definition of semantics which uh, is inspired by the idea of a promptness, and uh, um, we believe that it is uh, uh, it is. Uh, we have proved that it is uh, reasonable from the computational point of view, since it is, uh, mm, we have uh, proved that, that uh, uh, the problem is in P space, uh, and uh, essentially by a reduction to time at automata, so it, the, the, the complexity is the same as the reference formalism for uh, dense time domains. And uh, it, we believe that it, it is expressive for practical point of view. Um, another contribution is uh, a, a um, a result, an intermediate result we have used to prove the conversion, to, to, uh, to provide the conversion from the um, definition of the, for, for the specification of, of the timeline based uh, planning to time at automata. It is, a, it, it is a, 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 an extension of the classical formalism of event clock automata. We have provided a proper extension, which has which is a robust, a robust as a, as a, um, the uh, event clock automat, event clock automata, and uh, um, we have exploit, um, exploited it in in in, uh, in the translation. We believe that it is meaningful. It is a, a nice result, also in this more general context. Um, by the way, we have try other semantics uh, inspired by the same idea, idea of a promptness, but unfortunately these other semantics uh, um, have left uh, the, the problem undecidable. Uh, 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 what is interesting is that um, the difference in the definition of what it, it is mean prompt uh, is very, very similar, but uh, the effect of, uh, of, 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 um, of the computational cost is uh, dramatic. Um, well, let us start with the formal definition of the problem. Uh, a timeline, um, um, the, 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 the definition of a timeline the, um, is given by a, sta a state variable. A state variable is a triple where, where we have a, um, an alphabet for, uh, for action, name, namely for name of states, so for values of states. We have a transition function and then we have a, a a function which is assigned to each value of the state variable a, a possible duration. This duration is given by, by an interval, essentially. This is, but is given by an interval. So a timeline is a, a sequence of uh, um, states paired with, uh, with a duration. Um, and uh, one of these pair is called a token in the following. Um, one one have to describe a system 
one have to, to consider um, a set of timelines, so one cannot consider one only timeline. And uh, mm, the, uh, each timeline describes a, a component in, in isolation, essentially. But uh, we want to synchronize um, the behaviors of a different, uh, of a different uh, uh, state variables. So we have to introduce a, a, a formalism, a basic formalism to express constraints um, which affect tokens in the same timeline, but also tokens belonging to different timelines. We have uh, two different uh, uh, formats of rules of constraints. The, uh, the first one, synchronization, uh, synchronization rule, is the most power from the, point of, uh, for, from the expressive point of view. It consists of a, a universal um, of a name of, for a token which uh, um, is uh, related to a universal quantification. And it means that uh, it expresses an invariant. It means that each token uh, of a value A has to satisfy the uh, property expressed by this uh, uh, existential um, formula. In the existential form, uh, actually in the general form, uh, format, after a trigger, which is the, um, the first part, uh, we have a disjunction of uh, uh, existential statements. So we can have a dis disjunction. Let us consider the, the format of one existential statement. We have uh, some uh, existentially quantified names for tokens, and then we have a conjunction of atoms. Each atom express a difference between either the starting point of an atom or the ending point of the atom, and uh, this difference has to belong to a fixed interval. Um, for, as an example, this, uh, uh, this uh, synchronization rules uh, require that uh, after um, having fixed um, for, for, for an arbitrary AE token, there must be a, a, a B token and the C token, uh, such that uh, the B token is contained is covered by a C token. This cover relation is expressed by this conjunction of atoms. There are other. There is another format for rules which is triggerless rule, where the trigger is missing. At the same, simply we have to require that something. Up something is uh, satisfied during, uh, along the, 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 the timeline. Uh, trigger uh, synchronization rules are used for expressing variants, and uh, trigger loose, uh, trigger, triggerless rules are used usually to express or initial condition or uh, um, goals of the uh, specified system. But let, let us have a look of a more complex uh, uh, example. This is an example where we have uh, three um, state variables, one for a sensor of temper uh, temperature, another for, a, for a, a, a processing unit, another for a transmission unit. These graphs are the transition uh, graphs associated with uh, the state variables. And in each state, we have the possible duration of each uh, uh, action of each uh, uh, state. Um, the idea is that uh, um, um, the sensor, uh, um, the sensor it, it may have available some value of the of, of some value that the processing processing unit tried to, to capture two copies of the values. It performs an average of the two values and then it uh, um, allows the, the, the unit, the transmission unit, to, tr to transmit uh, the average value. This, uh, we are, in this case, we have uh, uh, an example of a multi-timeline, one for each uh, um, state variables, and uh, we have some rules. Uh, the first rules, which is a trigger rule, so is an initialization rule, uh, which requires that uh, the, uh, the sensor stay, uh, starts in not ready uh, state. The second uh, synchronization rules requires that uh, when the um, processor try to read the first value, it is a reading, um, then the, this, this trial has two possible effects. 
uh, the reading can be unsuccessful, so we have the first disjunct, and then the state uh, remains uh, unchanged, read zero, or the state, the reading, the reading attempt is successful, and then the next state is read one, and uh, but the condition for a successful read is that uh, the, reading to the reading token cover a ready uh, um, state for the sensor. The same, uh, we have a goal which requires that uh, finally uh, we have two reads and uh, a successful transmission. So we can have uh, the formal definition of the problem. A, a, a TP domain has, is a pair where we have a set of variables, a set of rules, and the problem is uh, uh, to, um, uh, to answer the, que the, 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 the question whether there is a multi-time line satisfying all the um, required constraint, all the, the rule, trigger and trigger as a rule. Unfortunately, uh, the problem in the general setting of the incident domain it, is, it has been proved to be undecidable, so we have to uh, consider restriction to, uh, to gain uh, the decidability of, uh, of the problem. Okay, here we, are, we, we can have uh, um, a complete uh, a picture of the, result, uh, of the results uh, um, for, for the problem, for restriction of the problem we can find in the um, um, which are, which, which are mm, of previous results, uh, uh, um, the starting results uh, for, 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 the, for, for the work I'm presenting. The restrictions which have been considered are the following. First of all, we, we have considered a mm, semantic restriction, namely called uh, future semantics. In the future semantics, uh, one uh, having fixed a trigger uh, an atom for trigger, one can choose for the existential part uh, a, 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 a token in the future, cannot choose a token in the past. Then we have a syntactic restriction which uh, um, is called simple rules. It means that uh, the same existential token cannot occur uh, more than once in an in existential statement. Then we have a restriction, we have considered a restriction on intervals. Uh, singular intervals are intervals which are points, essentially. And uh, then points are avoided in the expression of rules. And then we have another restriction on um, intervals. Uh, in this class of inter intervals, we have intervals which are either unbounded or if, are if they are bounded, they start from the initial point, of, they start from zero. This is the, the picture. In the, in the case of uh, unrest, in the re unrestricted semantics, uh, we, we know that the problem is indecidable. It is indecidable also in the future semantic. So we have to add uh, a restriction on rules. And in the case of a future semantic and uh, simple trigger rules, uh, we have a decidable problem, but uh, the complexity is very high since it is uh, um, non-primitive recursive. But if you consider simple trigger rules and on singular intervals, uh, the, problem, the, the problem is easier. It is, uh, its complexity is, it is proven to be X space, and X, X space complete. And in the case of the more restricted set of intervals, the problem is in P space. Um, there is also another interesting result. If we consider only triggerless rules, the problem is NP complete. But of course, uh, triggerless rules are not enough to express meaningful uh, specifications. So one cannot consider this formal with this very strong restriction. Now, we have considered uh, another, an alternative semantic, which do not require uh, any syntactic restriction on the rule format. And uh, um, the semantics is based on, on this idea, that uh, uh, when uh, one issue a trig uh, each trigger requires something which, um, which uh, requires a response for, from, um, in a sense, for, from uh, another token, and uh, the response uh, have to be, have to be uh, happen as soon as possible. It has been a prompt response. So um, 
In this case, uh, when we ask, uh, we fix this trigger, uh, this trigger for this uh, token, we can satisfy the, require, the requirement, uh, both uh, choosing for B and C, both choosing this occurrence or this occurrence of the, of the token. In the prompt semantics, in a sense, uh, we cannot choose the second instance, but we have to choose the first one, and we are obliged to, 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 to choose the first one. So we have uh, the idea that uh, in the existential part, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the chosen token must be uh, um, as much as clo close, the, the, closest, uh, the closest token. But what does it mean closest? We have to fix the idea, precisely the idea of, 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 of closest token. And uh, uh, fixing this definition of closest token, we have two alternatives. We have investigated two alternatives. The first one is the strong minimal semantics, gives, leads to the strong minimal semantics. The idea is that when we have to uh, choose a, a a token, um, we have to choose the token which minimizes the distance, uh, whose, whose uh, starting point minimizes the distance from the starting point of the, of the, of the, of the trigger. This uh, simple definition leads to a very powerful uh, um, setting. Uh, and this, it is shown in this, in this example. Um, if we, we have a simple timeline, with uh, mm, only one uh, value for the state, uh, C, and then we have uh, um, a swap for A and B in the, in the previous timeline. At what it is required, it's very simple, that uh, for each occurrence of, um, a, uh, of B, sorry, there, is, there must be both uh, a C preceding uh, B and uh, another C um, following, following uh, B. But uh, this is uh, possible only if uh, the distance in between the start point of the first occurrence and uh, the uh, from the token and the distance from the following token from the beginning is the same. Only in this case we can satisfy this constraint. This means uh, that uh, the only solution for this uh, um, for this problem, for, for this uh, specification, is uh, this solution where um, A and B have the same duration, are constrained to have the same duration, and C has a, 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 is the sum of the duration of A of B, namely, it, is, uh, it has a duration which is uh, two times uh, the duration of A and two times the duration of B. This, uh, simple, tr this, this uh, simple trick allows uh, to encode um, counters and uh, to prove that uh, there is a reduction of the halting problem of, um, of, of Minsky uh, to counters machine to the problem uh, of to the TP, TP problem with a strong minimal semantics. So this is not a good solution for, for what we are um, asking for. So we have considered another um, variant called minimal weak semantics where we have distinguished uh, the future and the past, requiring that, uh, simply, when you want to choose uh, a token in the, in the future, we have to, 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 one have to, to, to choose a token in such a way that uh, there is no token of the same value in between the, um, in between the um, trigger and the chosen to token. So, in this case, uh, we have to choose that if this one is the token and we have uh, wandering for, 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 for B, we cannot choose this uh, instance of B, we have to choose this one, and the same for C. In this case, a similar rule for the past. We have a similar constraint for the past. In this case, uh, we have that, uh, uh, we have good news, uh, since uh, the problem with this uh, kind of semantics uh, is, uh, can be sh shown to be uh, decidable, and uh, in particular, the problem is uh, um, it has been proved to be P space complete. The complete, the, the P space uh, um, belong, the, 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 
the, the, the, the, the upper bound, the upper bound of the problem has been proved from a reduction from the TP problem to timed automata, uh, which exploit a variant of extended event clock automata, uh, which has been providing this work. Instead, the lower bound, it has been proved by a technical machinery, uh, which uh, um, exploit, a namely a reduction from um, a domino tiling problem with uh, uh, linear um, length of rows into, into, the, 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 into our problem. But, uh, so, what is interesting probably is having an idea of the extension of even the clock automata. Even the clock automata are a robust fragment of a type made automata, where it is well, well known. Uh, and uh, robust robustness depends even on the fact that uh, the values of clocks are fixed by the input and not by the, uh, uh, um, by the behavior of the automaton. In particular, for each uh, symbol of the alphabet, we have a, a past clock and a predicting clock. We have enriched this uh, event clock with uh, diagonal constraints. Uh, diagonal constraints uh, are of this form. We have essentially difference of uh, clocks of the same polarity. Namely, either they are predicting or they are past, not mixed uh, combinations. And, uh, sums of uh, uh, constraint of, 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 of for tokens of the same uh, of different polarity if we remove this constraint on polarity we have another extension which is called ekai plus plus well uh, the properties are that uh, the extension is proper since uh, there is this is an example with an example of, of, of an automaton of a language recognized which cannot be recognized by uh, event clock automata, and uh, they have the same closure properties, and uh, there is, uh, of course, which is the basic machinery to prove the result, uh, one can uh, take uh, a, an extended event clock automaton and, uh, translate, and uh, translate it to, to um, um, a timed automaton with uh, uh, in exponential time, and uh, this automaton has uh, a linear number of clocks and uh, an exponential number of states, as it happens for the standard, for the standard EK. And uh, but the, the nice result is also, the, curi the curiosity result is also that in the case of, of plus plus, the this conversion cannot be done since the, um, Dampness problem for this for this for this class of automata is undecidable. So we have the, um, the we have followed for, to prove that the main result. We have followed these steps. We have encoded, of course, uh, uh, multi time lines into timed uh, words. We have encoded trigger rules by Ekai plus. We have uh, um, encoded triggerless rules by standard timed automata. And then we have solved the problem in a standard way using uh, um, the standard machinery for uh, timed automata. And this is the formulation of the, the main theorem with the uh, precise complexity of states and the clocks. So uh, in this work, we have uh, proposed an alternative uh, semantics for timeline, which uh, um, does not use a restriction of uh, syntactical restriction of, 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 of rules, and which is meaningful from the possibility of, of having a uh, specification, of a reasonable specification. Um, we have provided an extension of a, even the clock automata, two extensions. One is interesting, the other is undecidable. And uh, as a future work, uh, you want uh, to, to face the problem of model checking using timelines as a, a basic uh, way to specify systems. So we have to have an alternative to point-based definition by means of LTS, by label transition system, and instead of having timelines as uh, the semantics uh, to be checked. And uh, uh, using an interval model logic, like, for instance, Alpern-Schon logic, we have investigated in other contexts, which uh, 
for having a meaningful use of an interval point load instead of a point based uh, modal logic like LTL or LCTL and so on. So that's all. And if you have extended this event clock to ECA plus and ECA plus plus, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, event clock automata had nice properties. You know, they were determinizable, closed under complements. I guess it should, but yes, it is true. I have no, I have no in detail, but it is uh, true. But uh, it is uh, true both for both the extensions, for both the extensions. But uh, what it is not uh, true for the powerful for the most powerful extension is the the, 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 the conversion to time automata and they are in general uh, the, the, the emptiness problem is indecidable. Secondly, yeah, I, uh, considering your logic, yeah. you know, with weak constraints, uh, you know, translating same thing to something like MITN yeah. would be a key, but expressively are they, is there any relationship? Oh, we have, a, first, uh, we have a user um, it is not, it is not, uh, the, the, we have extended the uh, event clock automata since uh, uh, um, this, in the, 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 the update of clocks is a very, very, very similar to the, the idea of promptness, uh, of promptness of the semantics. So it was a natural, a natural formalism to, um, to, to have a translation from, 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 from the setting towards the uh, time automata. Um, we have, uh, um, probably we have investigated the model, uh, we have used, uh, we have uh, um, tried a model checking approach, uh, which uses a metal, the, the, the metric interval temporal logic uh, to express properties of timelines uh, using this fragment. And uh, uh, they, Exploited the same uh, good property that uh, the middle can be tra um, can, can be encoded by um, time the automaton. So, so you can you can uh, have the, the, the solution of a model problem uh, of, of, of model checking problem using intersection of a time the automata. So it is the natural the natural logic to speak about uh, this kind of. Uh, I I do not know if 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 we can do the same with uh, the new semantics since we have this minimality constraint we have to in a sense uh, to to take uh, care of okay I have one question. yeah you can also do some kind of parameter synthesis in some sense rules can have parameters and are there uh, no no they have no parameters directly extendable to this ah okay it, it could be maybe interesting to, to investigate